Good morning, everyone. M.A. from Geneva, Switzerland, and I'm back from spring break, uh, rested and ready to go. We are going into week five of instruction, even though we are going into week eight of our shutdown. And one of the things that I'm gonna try to be doing this week is just stay the course. So I'm gonna try to not change things up too much, just leave things where they are, and see how students are feeling coming back from break and see how they have adapted to this new situation and really listen to them, uh, their feedback this week before I decide to make any changes. If you're like me, you've still been struggling with those assessments. I didn't do any marking over spring break, which is fine, I'm, I'm okay with that. I just need to be uh, vigilant now that I can get back on to doing some marking. Uh, but that is something I've just been struggling with under lockdown. It's been very difficult to find the motivation and the time to sit down and give meaningful feedback to my students in the way that I used to do it. So I'm trying to rethink better and more efficient ways to do that. And also realizing that as I'm changing my strategies into more student-to-student -student interactions and posting on Padlet, and I don't necessarily need to be looking at all of that and measuring all of that. So really trying to find a different way to approach the feedback because I'm approaching instruction in a different way. So this week I'm trying something different with one of my classes and of course I'll report back about how it went, but I gave a full uh, class feedback on a piece of work so I read their responses and then based on what I was seeing, the mark scheme and of the assignment, pointing out areas that I was seeing that people need to be working on. And then I'm gonna ask those students to watch that video, write down a few things that they want to improve upon and refine and polish that piece of work to give it another try. And in that way, I think forcing my students to stick with their original piece of work and go back and look at it again is probably a wiser use of time than just pushing on to the next assignment. And I think this is a good way to have them calm down and settle into an assignment before moving on. So that's what I have for you today. I'll report back on you uh, to let you know how that went uh, with my class.